Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics by Dr. Anand. Today is a beautiful day to share some immense amount of knowledge. Today's topic of choice, we're going to talk about rapid revision, important pointers on neonatology. And the subtopic in neonatology is something known as cephal hematoma and caput succedaneum. See, my HOD always used to say that common things are common and rare things are rare. Common things are common and rare things are rare. So common topics are very important for the exam purpose. So let's start again. Today's topic of choice is number one is cephal hematoma and second is caput succedaneum. What are the three top differences you know regarding these two conditions? The babies who are born because of prolonged labor. The babies who are born because of prolonged labor, they have a swelling on the head known as caput succedaneum, known as caput succedaneum. Please remember it's an obscure topic as well as pediatrics topic. You're studying right now two subjects, quick three minutes, kind of a revision. Let's rock it. So babies who are born because of prolonged labor comes to an entity known as caput succedaneum and the babies who are born because of trauma or hematoma or kind of a forceps delivery or traumatic delivery, they have a hematoma on the head known as cephal hematoma. So please remember cephal hematoma, it is because of the forceps delivery and caput succedaneum, it is because of the what you call prolonged labor. Now, which one will have jaundice? Cephal hematoma will have jaundice or caput will have jaundice. So as the name says hematoma or trauma, so we all know that the bilirubin metabolism, hemoglobin gets breakdown into heme, then bilirubin and then bilirubin. So more and more hemolysis, more and more bilirubin will be formed. So that is why jaundice, it is seen in the case of cephal hematoma and jaundice is not seen in a case of caput succedaneum. Last important point, which one crosses the suture line? Yes, this is a very important for exam purpose. Cephal hematoma, it is confined to the suture line, whereas caput succedaneum, it is a diffuse swelling. It crosses the suture line. Last question, doctor, in how many days my baby's swelling will decrease? So the mnemonic is three and three. That's it. Very simple. Three and three. So means three days. In three days, Days, caput succedaneum will subside, whereas cephal hematoma is gonna take three to six weeks. Three days and three to six weeks. So please remember caput succedaneum, the top points are number one, prolonged labor. Number two, it doesn't cause jaundice. Number three, it is a diffuse swelling. It crosses the suture line and it resolves in three days. Whereas hematoma, it is because of forceps delivery. It will cause jaundice. It is confined to the suture line. And the last point, it will resolve in three to six weeks. That's all about today. Thank you so much, everyone. And most importantly, thank you for all the love and support. The videos are going awesome. God has been been very kind and life is beautiful so please take care and thank you